Hello, welcome to the first virtual meeting of the Psychology of Working Family and Introduction course. I'm Kristen Shockley, I am the instructor, and I want to first and foremost thank you all for your flexibility. I couldn't be in the first class in person because I'm in Singapore at the time you're watching this video. Not yet, I leave in the morning when I'm filming this. And um, I'm teaching over there. We have an executive program through Baruch. So I'm, I'm over there for two weeks and unfortunately it overlaps just a little bit with the beginning of this semester. So I had to miss the first class, but I'm gonna try to emulate what we typically do for the first meeting of the Psych of Work and Family course. So that being said, what I usually do is start by introducing myself, talking a little bit about the course. Um, I would usually pass it back to you all so you could all introduce each other and give us some background info. And then we would talk generally about work family issues and what you're interested in. And finally, we would walk through the syllabus and touch on some of the assignments. So what I'll do in this video is introduce myself, tell you about the course, and do some of that walking you through the assignments and, um, and showing you how to use Blackboard in the library, because you will have to use both of those for this course. So background on me to start. Um, I am an industrial organizational psychologist, which just means that I study people at work. I got my PhD in 2010 from the University of South Florida and started a job at Brew College in 2010, the same year. Um, and so I'm starting my sixth year here. I also have an appointment on the doctoral faculty in the psychology department at the Graduate Center and I teach in the Malls program, obviously. Uh, Karen Linus and I, who's another faculty member here at Baruch, started the Psychology of Work and Family track a few years ago. So I teach the first course and she teaches the second course, though this year she is on sabbatical, so we have um, Karen Medved who's filling in. Um, but I'm, I'm sure it will be just as great with the filling. So we urge people to take this class first and then to take that class, uh, but you can take them in either order. I think it just goes a little bit better taking this one first because this course is more of the basic introduction. It focuses on really the psychology aspect of it, hence the name of the course. And the second course gets into more multidisciplinary perspectives and with a, a big focus on cross-cultural issues. Um, I teach all different types of courses at Baruch and the Graduate Center, including master's level, doctoral level, and undergraduate. I teach things like intro psychology and statistics as well as this course. And I have to say this is my favorite course to teach. This will be the fourth time teaching it, and each time it's been a really growing experience for me personally. I've, I've enjoyed the atmosphere of the relatively small class. This is, I think, the biggest we've had. There's 17 of you enrolled as of today. Um, so maybe a little bigger than usual, but I still think it's a nice atmosphere. We'll have a lot of discussion. We'll get to know each other, and um, I hope that you enjoy taking the class as much as I enjoy teaching it. The Malls program has a few different um, sort of reasons for its existence, but I think one of the main is to give you a chance to get your feet wet in terms of uh, graduate studies and to really get a sense of if you want to go on and pursue a doctoral degree. So with that being said, I really try to model the course to give you a taste of what a doctoral degree is like, namely the thing that separates a PhD from a master's program is a much more research focus. So once we go through the syllabus, you'll see we, we talk a lot about research. Okay, so we're gonna read research articles. We'll read some non-research, but we'll read a lot of research articles. You'll have assignments that involve you reading research and um, reading and synthesizing it for a final paper. I expect that some of these assignments will be a little bit difficult for you, particularly in the beginning, and that's okay. I don't want you to be scared off. Um, I want you to try your best and to really spend time trying to understand the articles and then coming to me to try to figure out, okay, how do I get more out of this? How do I get past these hurdles that I don't understand? That's a real goal that I have for you in this course is to really grow yourself as a researcher and a consumer of research, which I think is important regardless of what you do in life. So as I said in the beginning, I don't have a chance to go around and get introductions from all of you, but what I would like you to do is to do this virtually through Blackboard. As I said in the email, if you log into Blackboard, which I'll show you how to do in a minute, and you'll see the uh, discussion board section that you can use to just post a little bio about yourself. So just tell us some about your background, or why you're enrolled in this class, why you enrolled in the MALS program, maybe something about your career goals, and you know, anything else that that you might find relevant. 
and I'll ask that you do this by September 7th and then that everyone logs on before we meet again on September 10th to read their classmates' uh, bios as well. I'm, I'm hoping to eliminate some of the time we spend on our first in-person class by doing this all virtually, although you know we'll still spend a little bit of time making sure I can put a name to all of your faces. So with that being said, you do have an assignment due for your first class, which I'll talk about in a minute when I go through the syllabus. And our first in-person meeting, because of different holidays that the college observes, is actually on a Thursday, so it's September 10th. So I just want to make sure that everybody is mindful of that.